Hello? Gisela. Thank God I got a hold of you. Elsa, what's wrong? You look like you've been crying. I have. I need you to come home. A cousin of ours is about to be scrapped for no reason, and I need a higher offer to convince her owner to sell instead. Do you think your director would- Yes, absolutely. I'll ask, but I'm sure it's a yes. Do I know this cousin? You do. It's Adelheid. Adelheid, Adelheid 110? Yes. I'm on my way with a blank check. You got here fast. Nearly overheated my engine, but I'm good. Got the check. How much does her owner want? That's just it. He's rejected all offers. His name is Gunther Müller. He's one of the wealthiest men in Germany and a known warbird collector. A lot of museums have attempted to bid for Adelheid's life, but he keeps saying no. She's to be scrapped next week. I wouldn't have even known about it if one of the scrappers he contacted wasn't a warbird fan and went public with what was happening. Adelheid is not only a friend, but one of only three of her kind left. There's an emergency hearing tomorrow arguing for Adelheid's right to live, but I don't know if it will go anywhere. She saved my life more than once during the war. I won't let her go out this way. The director has given me permission to make him an offer. He can't refuse. All right. Well, Mr. Muller agreed to speak with us. Best not keep him waiting. Ah, hello, ladies. Please, have a seat. Lady Elsa, it's always nice to see you. And you... Gisela, right? You live at the Sanctuary Museum in America. You've done your homework, Mr. Muller. Well, I'm a big fan of preserved aircraft particularly warbirds such as you ladies. It's a shame I must shrink my collection down a bit. Adelheid is a sweet girl, but it's her time to go. Why is that? Was she damaged? Quite badly, I'm afraid. My private hangar suffered a small collapse. Nothing catastrophic, but Adelheid was underneath it. Damage to her frame is extensive. I'm afraid repairing her is simply impossible. Could we see her? We served with her in the war and it would be nice to see her condition for ourselves. Oh, I'm afraid not. Adelheid insisted no one see her in such a state. I argued, of course, but she would not be dissuaded. Don't know whether it's vanity or pride, but I must respect her wishes. Mr. Muller, I can understand you are not of the opinion that Adelheid can be saved, but my director is a very generous man. He is willing to make a sizable offer, whatever you want, in exchange for Adelheid in whatever condition she may be in. That is most kind of him. I've heard a lot about your director. He's doing good work, and I am certain this offer is genuine. But money is not the issue. It is simply Adelheid's time to go. Now, if there's nothing else, ladies, I must be going. My butler will see you out. Great. So he really doesn't care about the money. Maybe Adelheid really is in bad shape. If she's conscious, then she can't be in bad enough shape that she can't be fixed. Well, maybe she's unconscious. But Muller said she asked him not to let anyone see her. That's... That's true. And I knew Adelheid well. She was neither vain nor prideful. If either of us came to see her, I'm sure she'd want to see us. Unless she's gone through a stark change in personality. I don't know. Something doesn't add up here. Is there anything strange going on with this Miller guy? Strange? No, not really. His wife did pass recently, though. Maybe that's affecting his judgment. How did she die? Apparently, she tripped and fell down their stairs. Very sad. Hmm. Well, we still have the hearing. Yes, we can argue our case to a judge. It is the judgment of this court that there is no law restricting the disposal of privately owned aircraft, regardless of historical value. What? Herr Forsitzender, I must protest. Order. Say your piece, ladies. But say it calmly. Herr Forsitzender, I understand that legally our kind has always been considered property, but is that right or moral? We think, we act, we have free will. I recognize we are created by man, but we still should have rights. Adelheid is our family and should not have her fate decided by anyone but herself. I understand your feelings, ladies, but the law is clear. While I believe that you should have more rights, I must adhere to the law as it is written. There is simply no legal basis for obstructing Mr. Muller from deciding what to do with his own property. I am very sorry. We failed. There's nothing more we can do. Where is he keeping Adelheid? Huh? I don't know. Not in his hangar. So probably in his mansion somewhere. Got it. What are you thinking? We've exhausted all the legal processes. True, but we haven't exhausted all the illegal processes. Gisela, you could wind up. Wind up what? Apparently we have no legal right to live under the law. Why should we follow a law that doesn't protect us? It's still the law. We can't. Once, Elsa, all of our family fell in line and it turned out to be the worst mistake we'd ever make. Our country in ruins, millions dead. I won't bow down to tyranny, not again. Besides, I don't live here anymore. Legally, all they can do is send me back to America. That's... That's true. 
You'd be considered property under the law here and simply sent away. Exactly. You go home to Munich. I'll take care of Adelheid. Gisela? Yeah. Good luck, little sister. Hello, Stella. It's Gisela, huh? Oh, yes, I'm just fine. Sorry if the others were worried. I should have said something. I'm in Germany and I was wondering if I could trouble you for a favor. Stealth missions are not my specialty. Hope those tips from Natalie actually work for me. This looks promising. Adelheid. Adelheid, are you here? Mm hmm? Who's there? It's Gisela. Do you remember me? Gisela? Oh my word, it's been years. What are you doing here? Busting you out, of course. He has you imprisoned. Yes, I've been here for weeks. But why? You're clearly not damaged. So his story about the hangar collapse was made up. Why is he so dead set on destroying you? Because I saw him do it. Do what? He did it. He killed his wife. I was visiting them a few weeks back. He often invited us over for dinner sometimes. But his wife went into a room she was never supposed to enter. Saw something she shouldn't have. Muller pushed her down the stairs. I saw everything, and he locked me up. What room? What is he hiding that was so important to kill his wife over? This way. I'll show you. It's in here. Where's the light switch? There we go. Oh, oh my God. So, Miss Gisela, you just couldn't stay away, could you? This certainly complicates matters. Muller, you're a, a proud member of the party that once brought our nation to greatness. Yes, been feeding them funding for decades. Soon we'll rise again, a fourth Reich, if you will, and finish what we started. You monster. You killed Lady Emily over this. I loved Emily, but she never knew of my devotion to the cause, nor did she understand. I had no choice then, just as I have no choice now. It's a shame. You both once served the cause so brilliantly. Not anymore. Never again. How are you going to explain my death, Miller? Oh, I'm sure I'll come up with something. A piece of property breaking and entering tends to make one's trigger finger oh so itchy. You were a fool to do this alone. I have friends in many low places just waiting to strike. I suggest you say your goodbyes. You both die right now. Perhaps, but there's one inaccuracy with that statement. Oh? I didn't do this alone. What? What is that? An earthquake. Guten Tag, Herr Müller. Mein Gott, a royal tiger. That is correct. Now bow. Stella is ready to leave whenever. Good, best be on our way before we're asked too many questions. Where are we going? You'll be safe at the best museum on the planet where we both live. And the police will have a lot of questions for Muller regarding his little collection. Also might have recorded that whole conversation and left it behind. You did? Maybe. Well, if you're sure. But won't I be returned to Germany once Miller realizes I'm gone? Your testimony regarding his wife's death, or rather murder, changes the game. I already informed the director. He said his lawyer would probably have a stroke over this whole thing, but we're to bring you back with us regardless. He'll fight for you, I promise. I see. Well, all right then. Thank you, both of you, so much. Elsa was the one that called me. You can call her when we get back. Oh, I shall. I hope the others at the museum like me. Probably a bit too much in some cases. If you spy a shooting star coming towards you, just run. What? Why? Trust us. Just run and don't look back. Special thanks to our museum volunteers, Maria Miller, A.D., Osean Federation, Zero Smith, Jeremiah Fenley, Mr. Wolf Doggy, King of Knights, 719 Skyper, Hagar 2424, William Linz, Big J, The Random Texas Gamer, Ohio Trucker 1, TBG Matty, Kiwi Warrior, Scouthinter, Philip Boatwright, Johnny Lepretra, Ambulance 991, Snakeman 129, Downbeat 83, Matthew W., Mr. Creeper 1103, DM Tribal Typhoon and Walter Romriel. Remember, you can support the show in this way by becoming a member on the YouTube channel.